you made me eat ice cream. Cold it! Oh. Studsky, let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Hey! Starting from now? Chase! Hey! Hi, Frank. What did you do to get sent out here, then? Are you sure you're a qualified plumber, honey? Of course! Ah. Honey! Nothing? That's right, deputy! Huh? I got you cornered! Huckleberry's in the It's just you and me! Frank, Because I sent your boss on a wild goose you go chase! The side. After a wild goose! <laughs> Say Oh. Prayers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey there, Chase. We're just finishing rehearsing our play. <laughs> okay. You gotta do something to fill your days around here. Nothing exciting ever happens. I, uh, the front door was locked? Calm down, Derek. Don't worry, you two. Your chief warned me you're coming, and I've drawn up a work roster. Frank, you'll be in charge of making sure we do not run out of coffee. You can trust me, Sheriff Huckleberry. And Chase. I broke the coffee machine. <laughs> Derek! Language! Well then. Both of you be rounding up Farmer Hayes' escaped pigs. His farm's to the south of here. I'd go myself, but it's curtains up tonight, and I still don't know all my lines. We're on it. Sir. Huh, at last! You have to find my pigs! And this is why I became a policeman. They're mountain pigs! Incredibly rare! I'm going out of my mind with worry! Going! <laughs> have no fear! This is Chase McCain! If anyone's qualified to find your pigs, it's him! Thank you, honey! Well, they shouldn't be too hard to find. It's not like they can fly. Oh, well, they're mountain pigs. They could be anywhere. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hi. Uh, I better stay here in case they come back. Fine. I should be looking for Rex Fury. You'll need to look like a farmer, or they'll run off. I got some spare overalls and a hat you can borrow. Great. Thanks. I used to wear them to muck out the pigs. Oh. Then, I locked them in a cupboard because they stinked up so bad. And, uh, well, buried the key in a field for safety. Right. And now they're haunted! Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. What?
Chase, keep it low key. Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake! What do you think that little joystick does? Don't know. Try moving it. Move! It don't do nothing. See? Just leave it alone, then. Whoa. So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter, then. And now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. I know you've been trying to protect me. I was just worried about my dad. And I know you didn't mean to reveal my identity during Rex's trial. Oh, right. So why have you been such a pain? Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I might have even had some feelings. So when you just left like that? Feelings? <laughs> Shut up. So would you like to see a movie sometime? <laughs> You're actually kind of sweet, Chase. But you're married to your job, and I don't date married men. How about coffee? Just find my dad, Chase. Tea? A tiny cookie? Ice cream? Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. Please don't have left the restaurant yet. Hey, Chase. I figured this tunnel would look fancier, seeing as Blackwell's so rich. It ain't finished, is it? Blackwell lost interest in building stuff after the scandal. Oh yeah, what was the deal with that? What? Have you been on holiday for the last few years? <sighs> Not quite. Blackwell was gonna build this massive apartment complex with a mall and everything up in Bluebell National Park. But then someone finds some sort of rare squirrel there, so City Hall stops it. By then, he'd already spent billions building Blackwell Bridge to connect the clock to uptown. That must have been embarrassing for him. Oh yeah, he didn't take it kindly. Vowed he'd never build anything again. Right. Now, we gotta be quiet. Who are you? Uh... <coughs> Intruder escaping! Sentinels pursuing!
Perfect! Here we go. Sentinel 2, get after him. Go, go, go! Don't let him escape! Faster! What is going on in there? Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this. Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <sighs> I said... Why... Did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there. What the? Uh, ow! That hurt. Oh! Oh! Hey, get me out of this thing, or Rex or Rex ain't here. Why did he send you guys? I ain't telling you nothing. It's okay, Vinny. I think I know how to make him talk. Eat some more. Oh, oh yeah, that's mm, so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Mew. No, stop. All right, I'll tell you anything. Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But I know how you can get to him. I meant to do some kind of job tonight, in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. Y you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answered. Yeah, no, no! Whoa! Is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Can I get some sprinkles? Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Are ah, you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? Nope. Not me. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main, not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, oh, it's okay. I'll find another one. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure! Just give me a second! Hey there! Thanks! I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. No! Yeah! Oh. Grr. Meet me up there in ten minutes! Sure. Sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh. All the days to leave my glasses at home! No. Oh.
final shipment. Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. Um, a boss. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just funny. Uh, boss, your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? Botherations! <laughs> Technology! And it's making your voice go funny. Ah! I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. <laughs> How lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving! Uh oh, I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere! Find him! That was close. I hate you, elevator. will never help you! Oh, really? No! No! <laughs> stop it! No! Stop it! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> That's quite enough, Rex. Oh. My dear professor. Oh, hang on. Oh, the silly computer. My dear Professor Kowalski, please be reasonable. Forrest Blackwell! Forrest Blackwell? You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this. Society. The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor. I would never hurt you. Dad! Oh, my Natalia! I've seen what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah! Ah. Hmm. Looks like it works. Thank you, Professor. Oh, oh. This silly computer! Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia. What have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Think you can open it? Well, I could have done that. 
Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. Did you find Natalia? No, sorry. But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He is an evil genius. This is his plan. Look, this is my phase polarity M, my magic bubble. He means to fly to the moon. How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown, Blackwell Tower. Ellie, you have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower, now. Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within 10 blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area. Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. We've evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain. Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees. That is hot. I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds. to their computers, I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake or two, which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9, we do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Oh. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to 